Hey friends and welcome in again. It's another daily message uh, from the universe via the tarot for Tuesday, February 8th. I didn't do a video yesterday because I got a level 1 Reiki attunement on Sunday and so I was very tired and I got as far as putting my mic on and then never making the video so I hope that you'll forgive me for that um, but to make up for it a special treat I decided that I will do um, love readings for every zodiac sign since Valentine's is coming whether you like to celebrate it or uh, my favorite thing to do is to anti-Valentine's or something. Anyway, both are equally fun, I think. So whatever your jam is, um, and I've got this really fun deck called the Romance Angels that I love to pull out and just, um, and yeah, just entertain that notion for a while. So you can look out for that at some point in the future, before Valentine's, maybe by the weekend or over the weekend. Anyway, let's get to our messages for today. Any supporting messages that want to come through to help us get through our Tuesday? Death. <laughs> Hope in reverse. And loss in reverse. Interesting. Um, I'm getting the vibe that it's sort of like trans well, death is transformation, right? And a new beginning. And this can be tied to our identities. Um, and I'll take it a step further. Your identity, right? How you see yourself um, is deeply tied to what you believe. And if you don't, if you believe you've lost something, if you feel hopeless about a situation, um, loss in reverse here is saying that that which is lost has not actually been lost. So the law that that loss it has to do with your belief, your your lack of hope in the situation. So what is needed is your transformation, the death of an old idea, so you can bring in a new idea. It's like Nothing is black and white. You're saying it's this or that or bust. If it doesn't happen this way, then I guess it's lost forever. If I can't get this, you know, it's like the thing you will order at the restaurant isn't available. I mean, you still got to eat. I don't know if that's the best metaphor, but we'll just go with it and see what the tarot has to say. I think you'll understand what I'm saying, though. All right, positive messages only. Any messages for today? Oh, I keep forgetting to say this at the beginning of the video, but pay attention to the message or the title um, and, and check your chart because if you're only reading your sun messages, you might be missing out on some juicy stuff um, in other ways as well. So other dimensions of your astrology cake, if you will. Underneath we have the King of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Strength. Nine of Cups. Judgment, Knight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. So first of all, as the energy underneath the King of Pentacles, this is something to do with your power, something to do with um, money or, or time. King of Pentacles is the highest of the Pentacles. So something's making you feel in your power. Maybe something is within your control. There's a lot of like fruit and a bug and a lot of flowers on this. So 
this is a, the highest card of abundance here showing up as the energy underneath, which is exactly why loss is in reverse. That which you have lost is not actually there. What The situation I think that you're dealing with is actually ripe. It's full of potential. I think what, what needs to happen is your your perception of this needs to change. Hmm. Um, what I'm seeing is that you're aware of some sort of love offer. You're aware that some somebody or, or some, maybe these are your own feelings or they could be somebody else's. But either way, there's an awareness of some feelings around a situation. Roles can always be reversed. So that's why I say your feelings or their feelings. Um... And the Knight of Pentacles. It's almost like you're determined to show love for something or someone in a very consistent, rigid manner. But it's taking a lot of strength to even take that small step. So something's been closed off here for a long time. And I feel like it's been working for a while to be closed off like this. But it's not, um, it's not working anymore, and I wonder why that is. I mean, it's not very fulfilling, right, to um, not participate, not, to not be able to participate fully in the experience of life. I think that's why the King of Pentacles is the energy underneath, is like, look at all the, the, the things you could be doing, enjoying, look at what is available to you. The highest power, like the highest energy of the pentacles is here, underneath. But what I see you doing in the recent past is this victory, you know, six of wands, the, the judge, sorry, the judgment, okay. Six of wands, the judgment, and the four of cups. It's like, you know you're doing this thing where you're like, yeah, no thanks, because you're, it's working for you. you. There's something about that that you've just been comfortable saying no or just not participating in some way and you know this about yourself it's like you're getting the call to do something and you're like no thanks until until what i don't know maybe we should clarify that but for now i'll keep reading strength knight of cups knight of pentacles something changed and you're slowly starting to move forward. Strength is compassion in the face of fear. So what are you afraid of? What do you what did you what do you fear that you have lost? And what are your feelings about that? Because I see that in the past you've been apathetic or bored with something and now you are making moves, knight of cups, knight of pentacles double movement in a consistent and loving manner what are you trying to prove it's like something is just becoming unstuck maybe this is about coming out of hopelessness realizing that that which was lost may be your lust for life maybe you thought it was lost maybe this is for somebody who's felt depressed and is coming out to see the other side. It's not easy though. It's like you dream about the life that you want and then doubt creeps in and says, you can't have that. I don't deserve that. And there's like a lot of fear. What is keeping this hope stuck? We need some jumper. Oh boy. This might be a long one, so <laughs> making up for yesterday's lost time. Um, the chariot. We have Leo and Cancer here on the table so far. Leo and Cancer. Maybe you're Leo or Cancer or the person you're dealing with or 
situation you might be dealing with Leo Cancer. Maybe it's somewhere else in your chart. It doesn't have to be to be relevant. Uh, but the chariot is also, for me, the same validation, the message that in order to move forward, we need to get vulnerable. Like, yes, it's a bit... Um, the step from apathy and non-movement, even to just like a little bit of movement, like... The amount of effort it takes to get out of bed sometimes. That's sort of like that kind of resistance is here. That feeling, that sort of low vibration of. Oh, am I going to, is it a bones day or is it a no bones day? Um, I'm, I'm really feeling that this is for somebody who has a lot of no bones days. And uh, that's probably why it works for you or for them to. Um, say no because it's easy um, they don't have to do anything but what's not working here in the future is that there's you want to live your life I get the feeling that you you need to feel satisfied somehow and it's just because it was easy to shelter yourself and not participate for what might have been an extended period of time you that does not that's not the same as satisfaction and it's definitely not the same as um, enjoying your life you know even the little things the king of pentacles is here and the chariot is, is here to say you need to get out there and live your life you need to go enjoy all the things this life has to offer okay you know what i'm gonna go do a full-on clarification here because this is I think an important message for somebody so I'm going to pull three cards for each of these positions here um, in the recent past the six of wands this victory all right this victory card what have you overcome the three of pentacles high priestess three of swords double threes all right Yeah, so some sort of, this might have been a, about a situation with a group of people or with another person, somebody that you feel really connected to, uh, but has hurt you deeply somehow. Maybe that's why you've been sort of hiding away. This could have been a bad breakup or something like that. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, judgment in the recent past. Ace of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Cups. Okay. So you maybe saw this as an opportunity, right? Like this is now I need to go within, right? Leave this painful situation behind and work on myself. I know I'm not perfect. I need to sort of like use this time wisely. And this is an opportunity. That's very, that's very healthy of you to realize that and to do that. So why is the four of cups here? Four of cups in the recent past. This saying no queen of pentacles. Oh, you're holding out for the queen. <laughs> you're holding out for the queen the queen of pentacles is the person who lives the manifestation you're like I'm not going to do that because that's not that's not what I want it's almost like you know what you want whether or not whatever this painful situation in the past was whatever, whatever that was I don't think that it was really um, in some ways you knew it had to happen like you cleared the slate or something that's why that pain was a success, right? It's like ripping off the a bandaid or something, and now going go going and doing the work that you know needs to be done. Maybe you had some sort of crutch, right? Like, um, you know, a substance, or or even people can be crutches when we re rely too much on a on a person. This could be codependency and stuff like that. You know. So whatever that was, was removed, you're going inward to, 
you know, I, I don't see healing here, but I, I do believe that there is healing work being done just intuitively. There must be, right? And um, the Wheel of Fortune is here to, to suggest cycles and, and karma, and you're maybe taking a look at what opportunities for learning something. What is the opportunity to learn something here with this situation? Well, anyway, the Four of Cups is the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Hanged Man. Huh. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles here, the Six of Cups, and the Hanged Man. So, you know, when I said you're holding out for the Queen, um, this might be somebody from your past. Um, or this might be um, an opportunity from the past that you're thinking about that is sort of keeping you um, where you are. That's why you're four of cups. You're saying, no, thanks. I don't want that. I'm looking for something that looks like this. You're sort of comparing maybe. And that's what's keeping you from participating maybe um, with other groups or with other people or in, in other external sort of situations. All right, let's take a look at um, 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 the present moment. So we have the card strength. I'll take it. The page of wands. Ten of wands. Oh, we're going backwards now. Oh. The Queen of Cups. All right. So it must be that somewhere, you know, the Eight of Cups was here, somewhere on your journey, leaving, past, leaving behind a painful situation for something else. I think that you are finding that something else, and that something else is your own emotion, your deep intuition, right? The Queen of Cups, she's um, compassionate. She's very, I don't want to say emotional, but a very there's just this very compassionate figure. And so seeing the Queen of Cups on the strength leads me to believe that you've found compassion for yourself in this whole situation. You're saying, I can't change what's the facts. I can't change how I feel. And again, the Page of Wands, for me, the Page of Wands is all about opportunity. Or, sorry, potential. What is the potential lesson or the outcome of your realizing this? The Ten of Wands is telling me that possibly what the, what the potential of this situation is, is that you realize you've been carrying these emotions for a long time that you need to let go of. And that's scary because you've only known how to be this one way for some time. So... That's, that's the strength equation, right? Compassion plus fear equals strength. We don't ignore our fears. We greet them. We look them in the face. And with great compassion for yourself, you say, what do you want? I'm here to learn. So someone here is confronting their feelings. All right, let's look at the Knight of Cups in the present situation. Justice, yep. Knight of Swords, King of Wands. I'm not reading reversals, but just so you know, the Knight of Swords did come out in reverse. And we have the King of Wands, the husband of the tarot. Um, you know, but not necessarily. This is just somebody who really understands their own desire, uh, truly. Um, so much so that it's apparent to everybody else. Because the King of Wands, he doesn't, he doesn't really lift a finger. He sort of just, he understands the plan. He knows what's going on. Very charismatic, I, I would think, is the King of Wands. And he, like, just inspires people. So... You've got a lot of knights on the table. The Knight of Swords clarified the Knight of Cups. 
um, what's happening right now is I think you're reclaiming your truth. You're, remember what I was saying about death and identity? You're reclaiming your truth for yourself. And a previously hopeless situation is turning around. So that's what was lost, right? Your own awareness of self, some, something about how you feel about a situation. You got to take that, take that narrative back for yourself. That's going to lead, lead to some, some transforming, some transformative opportunities. And so the Knight of Swords here tells me that this is happening very quickly. That once you made this realization, you've sort of just like clicked on. And now you're on a mission to basically let everybody know what it is that you're doing. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. King of Cups. Dang, look at all these kings. The Hierophant. Ace of Swords. Truth. Clarity. Ace of Swords. Also the King of Cups. Look how quickly you're graduating right? We had the Queen of Cups clarified up at strength. Um, Knight of Cups, sorry, Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Cups. It's like within the same breath. Ascension. <laughs> Truth, power. The Hierophant, again, the throat chakra, Taurus. Okay. Taurus is all about, I associate Taurus with like the body that actually Taurus is um the moon is in Taurus right now so it's like a great time for self-care and like pampering your space and what does that activity do really if not honors like honor yourself honor your you know um yourself your mind your body and the king of cups does that as well the king of cups is um I think you're it feel it must feel really good to accept the truth is what I'm getting because now suddenly every step that you take doesn't matter how or when you get there you're making like very diligent progress it's a very sure-footed movement is what I'm getting because you can do it with truth you know the truth about yourself or the situation it's like once you see it you can't unsee it there might be a self-care routine, honestly, that, that you're doing that makes you feel really good. Um, perhaps. Speaking truth to power. All right, let's see um, the Nine of Cups now in the future position. The Four of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, the Empress. Yeah, you've got some making up for lost time to do is the feeling that I'm getting. The Nine of Cups was clarified by the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Empress. You feel like you've been holding on to something for so long, some rigid ideas, and now that you've had this like sudden realization or communication, Maybe this, I don't, I think that this came from within though. I feel like this came from your own intuition, this information. Then it's the time for the Empress, for new growth to finally occur. You're like, I've got to make up for lost time. Let's get going. I've got life to enjoy. There's things I want to say. There's things that need to be said. Empress is Venus. There's Taurus again too, really. Yeah. Which again is calling out the throat chakra, speaking something, speaking truth to power. Um, next, we have the five of pentacles in the future position. So what, what is the important message around the five of pentacles? Why do we suddenly retreat into a state of lack? Like you don't have what it takes? Are you doubting yourself? What's with this doubt? The Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. You're balancing, like, 
your own ability to remain confident, I'm getting. Like, you need to fill your cup often. And so, or maybe you just, you're, you're, you're falling back because you're, you are struggling sort of with the idea of, um, I want to be happy, but I don't know if I can be. I want to be happy, and I know that it's available to me, but I don't know if I can really step into that energy because there's other things that you're um, focusing on at the same time. I think I feel like this is where the healing's coming in, too. I think you know that just because something external makes you happy, you're not going to... Um, that's not going to solve all of your problems. I feel like you're mature enough to know this. And so that's why the, that self-doubt is here. It's like, how can I manage to do both? I think you know that you can. You know, you do have uh, tremendous abilities. Just that there's those, those priorities are really being balanced. It's like every day is a choice. What do I do? Do I... <laughs> Um, focus on me feeling good um, like do I, do I work on finding love or do I work on finding self love do you see what I'm saying like both are good but one comes before the other ultimately okay uh, nine of swords Final, final card here um, in the future position, which is about, um, you know, also messages in the night, I think. So like messages in your dreams or something that keeps you up, um, essentially our worries. We had doubt and worry here. So we learned about the doubt. Now what's the message for the worries? Knight of Swords, worry. Queen of Wands. The Hermit. Five of Wands. I feel like you feel that no matter what kind of consistency you've built up in your life, whatever sure-footedness you have found, this confidence, compassion for yourself, um, in whatever situation you're dealing with, you feel like that no matter what you do, there will always be conflict. And that is your concern uh, moving forward. And um, I gotta say, you know... Yeah, there's always going to be things out of our control. Um, I think that that's, um, this is a very clear, sure reading of um, how the voice of fear can uh, truly um, immobilize us from reaching for the things that we want in life and can keep us from also reaching our fullest potential when we're when when the voice of fear is drowning out intuition there was sort of like you know uh, some pain but then like pain leading to some sort of like intuitive opening or listening um, slowly gaining confidence making moves out there in the world wanting to um, you know, really growing, changing your perspective on, on, on some old things and everything's going great. And then the Ten of Cups is here and so is the Nine of Pentacles and you're, you get to choose sort of how you're going to approach this. Um, and there's a lot, of, there's still a lot of self-doubt and, and worry and concern or uh, brooding, if you will. Um, you've got to decide for yourself what is worth the worry. Um, I think that you know the medicine already is to sort of speak your truth. You need that opportunity to say some things and, um, and accept that it may not change anything. It may not lead to the desired outcome, but I think you know you got to do it anyway. So that is your message for today. Um, if you're still watching this because it resonated with you, I feel for you for sure. And I just want you to know that you are, you are so loved exactly the way that you are. And 
you deserve to speak your truth and say what it is that is on your mind. Um, you've done a lot of work on yourself and it shows. It for sure shows. Even if it doesn't seem like that to you. Because from your perspective, you're experience, you experience everything that you do. But I think other people can see that. And they want you to succeed. They want you to get out there and do your thing. <laughs> Bitch, you're doing a good job. Okay, that's, that's what I got. So yeah, um, have a wonderful Tuesday. Enjoy yourself. Take full advantage of all that life has to offer today. You deserve it.